What's going on guys? Good morning. So we are here at the junkyard, the local junkyard, and we are going to go treasure hunting because I saw online that they got an accord up in this bitch and it got the goods. It has an intake, it has a strut bar, it has headers. So we're going to strip it all. <laughs> we're going to take it all. But uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go find it. So I'll, I'll find it and I'll get back to you guys. Hopefully it's there. All right. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So I found it. It's that one right there. 47. And it looks like the hood's open. <sighs> fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fuck. Damn. They took the intake. Son of a bitch. Those motherfuckers. I was hoping for that AEM V2 intake, but they already took it. <sighs> what are these headers by? Let's find out. <clears throat> mm. These headers. Oh, these are Megan headers. Perfect. Okay. So that's still a score, but I really wanted that AEM V2 intake. Probably one of these people. They just took it. Dang. Okay, so <clears throat> gonna go ahead and uh, pull off the headers. It's not too hard. It's a few bolts, and then I guess I could take this this brace as well. Yeah. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna get that done. Maybe the intake's in the car. We'll see what they have in the car. Sometimes, sometimes they take the part. It's also a five-speed too. Sometimes they take the part and they just like throw it in the car. <sighs> Dang. No, it's not here. I'll keep my eye on it for just in case somebody actually didn't take it and they just hit it up in this bitch. It's pretty cool. We got a little five speed. Shout out to all the five speed leather interior. It has a system. It has a system too. It's a pioneer. Okay, so this guy whoever took it started, but didn't finish. Got a rear view mirror. Okay. Alright guys. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so a quick update. Um, this is actually not an, an F-Series engine. The code says H22. So we have ourselves an H22. And um, yeah. It's, uh, <sighs> the headers. I guess I'm gonna leave them because they're definitely not gonna fit. So there's no point in taking them. I did find this mirror though, so I might just take that. Let's see how much that is. This bar, I'm considering it. However, um, I definitely am gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go get an accurate TL one because the TLs, um, they're a full solid one, and as you can see. Like ours is just right into here instead of connecting the tower. So I've seen people run both. I'm going to see if I can run both, but I don't really think there's a, a point to it. But we'll take it off and we'll put it on another car that has both. So that way we'll see how it looks and if it sits. A little, a little aftermarket grill. But yeah, this guy has an H22 swap. It's pretty cool. No suspension, nothing else. Just, just that. So, all right, guys, we'll continue our hunt. Alright guys, so we found an Acura TL. CL has the same part, but essentially this tower bar connects both sides. So for our coupes, you'll notice that our bar only connects to the chassis from here to here. It doesn't connect through the center. But this one, however, does both. So it goes here all the way through, and then also to the car as well. Like, you get what I'm saying though, right? But yeah, so I'm going to take this off. I'm going to bring it to the other place where we saw that other cord with the aftermarket one. And I'm going to see if you can rock both, but I highly doubt it. So All right, let's take this thing off. And if it does fit, I might take both. If it doesn't, I'm taking this one. I almost forgot to tell you guys how to take it off. So real quick, it's just two four six, it's eight bolts and they're all 12 mils. So there's two here and then there's two back here to access the panel. It's literally like a little plastic piece. With two little tabs, you just pop it, and then the two 12s are down there. So, the other one is behind here, hiding behind this windshield wiper. So, I gotta take it out and stuff. But, yeah, pretty easy. All right, let's go. 
All right, so we're back to the other cord, and I'm just mocking it up to see if it'll fit, and it looks like it will. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, take both and then slap them on, see how they do when it comes to cornering and stuff like that, the handling, keeping it tight, keeping the chassis tight. So, all right, I'll take these off, and then it's time for a little junkyard parking lot upgrade. Let's go. All right, guys, so here we are at the junkyard. Got the parts, and so basically, we're gonna take out these, right? These little two, and then we're gonna swap it out for those. It only cost me like five bucks for both of them. It was uh, fifty, so that's not bad. You know what I'm saying? And the other one's aftermarket, which is kind of cool. I'm not saying it's gonna do much, you know. It's supposedly supposed to help with the car's rigidity, but I said we'll see what it does. I'll let you guys know. And then, yeah, all right, I'm gonna get to installing, so I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, so a little bit of hiccup. We already have the CLTL one in, but the thing is, we can't stack both of them in there. And essentially, what the trade-off is is that with this one, right, it goes straight into the the car and the tower as well. But with this one. It just goes straight across and it makes sense because those ones would tie it to this tying it together but I think I prefer having one solid piece I'm just running through maybe I'll drive it with this one and then take it off and switch it off and drive it with this and then see what that does but for now we're gonna rock it with this one because I really like the the little stock look so all right I'm trying to button everything up guys I'm gonna go back into the junkyard and see what else I can find all right, see you guys on the next one.